How could you do this to me, Clara? How could you betray me like this with Lucas? Calm down, Camila. Why are you acting so crazy? You can't just call me a hundred times without even texting me first. Don't you dare pretend that nothing's wrong and start explaining yourself. Lucas told me he was going on a business trip for a month. But I saw you sneaking into his house yesterday, and you didn't come out until today. And you were not alone. You were with Lucas, laughing and smiling like nothing happened. What? You've been spying on me in his house since yesterday? You're such a creep, Camila. I wasn't spying on you for fun. I was worried about Lucas. He's been acting weird lately. When I visited him before he left, his room smelled like a different perfume, and he didn't reply to any of my texts for days. So I decided to check on him yesterday to see if he really left for his trip. And there you were. So you're the one who's been sleeping with Lucas, huh? So what if I am? <laughs> What's your point, Camila? It's not like you didn't know. Or maybe you did, but you just didn't want to admit it. What? What are you talking about? Lucas is my fiancé. Remember? Are you out of your mind? You're hooking up with your best friend's fiancé. Huh? He's not your fiancé anymore, Camila. He's mine and he's going to marry me, not you. So stop playing the victim here. You know he doesn't love you anymore. <laughs> what? He told me he dumped you, and he's going to propose to me soon. So you can cry all you want, but it won't change anything. He's mine now. He chose me over you. What? Wait a minute. You're getting married to him? Yes, we are. <laughs> I've been working hard to make him fall for me, and it finally paid off. He didn't even notice me at first, and I was so jealous when he got engaged to you. But I didn't give up. I made my move, and he fell for it. He came to me and told me he loved me. You've been chasing him all this time? Clara, have you always loved Lucas? Even when we were friends? Yes, I have! Ever since we were in middle school, I've had a crush on him. I've always wanted him to be mine. What? But he never looked at me. He only had eyes for you. You were so plain and boring, but he still picked you. And he even announced your engagement to everyone last year. You were so lucky to get a job at the same place as him. But it wasn't fair, ugh. I deserved him more than you. He knew I loved him, and he still loves me too. He loves me more than he ever loved you. That's why he came back to me. What? You've been obsessed with Lucas since middle school? Yes, I have. I followed him to the same high school, the same university, the same everything. I never let him out of my sight. And when I finally got the courage to ask him out, he was already with you. You, some random girl from his part-time job. But I didn't care. I knew your relationship wouldn't last. I knew I had to act fast and take him from you before it was too late. What's wrong with that, Camila, huh? Wait a second. So, when you joined our part-time job, that was no coincidence? You did that on purpose? The day after I started dating him, you showed up there. Of course I did. I had to see who he was with. I had to see what you had that I didn't. And you know what? You had nothing. You were just a plain and boring girl who didn't deserve him. But you acted like you were so happy with him. You made me sick, but I had to endure it. I had to get close to him. And that's why I pretended to be your friend. But that was all a lie, Camila. That's why. Why, you were so nice to me. I was new in town. I had no friends. I was lonely and lost. And then I met Lucas. And you. You were the only person who seemed to care about me. Well, that was all part of my plan. I knew that by gaining your trust, I would have a better chance of getting him. I knew that by being your friend, I could break you apart and take your place. That was your plan all along. Yes, it was, and it worked. <laughs> because you were so naive and desperate for a friend, you never saw through me. You never realized that I hated you. You never realized that I was after Lucas. You were so stupid, Camila. And I hated being around you. But I did it anyway. I did everything I could to make him notice me. I even sabotaged your work and blamed it on you. I wanted him to see how useless you were. What? Is that true? Is that why our boss was always yelling at me? Is that why I got fired? You did that to me. You ruined my job while pretending to be my friend? Yes, I did, and I don't regret it. Because it was worth it. Because after we graduated, Lucas got a good job and you didn't. I thought that would be the end of you. I thought he would dump you. But then, I heard he proposed to you. <laughs> ha 
How stupid was he? But it didn't matter because I told him how I felt. And he felt the same. <laughs> he left you for me, and he chose me over you. You are such a monster. I can't believe what you've done to me. I thought you were my friend. I thought you cared about me. But you never did. You hated me, and you wanted to steal Lucas from me. The only monster here is you, Camila. You came out of nowhere and took my man away from me without ever considering my feelings. Do you get it now, though? It's over for you. Lucas is all mine now, and there's nothing you can do to get him back. So you stay the hell away from us now and never ruin my relationship again. I can't believe what Clara told me. You've been cheating on me with her. And you dumped me for her and you're going to marry her now. I know what she told you. She also told me that you've been stalking us since yesterday. You've been lurking outside my house, watching our every move. If you had any doubts about me, you should have confronted me. But instead, you acted like a psycho and made a fool of yourself. How dare you call me a psycho when you're the one who betrayed me? Don't you have any remorse for what you've done? Why should I feel sorry for something I don't regret doing? I finally found the perfect girl for me. And she's loved me longer than you ever did. So what's wrong with me picking her over you? What? It's amazing to think that she's been in love with me since middle school. And it's even more amazing that her dad is my boss. I had to go for her now that I have my career on the line. Wait, what? Her dad is your boss? Yeah, he is. He has the same last name as her, but I didn't know he was her father. But now that I do, I know that marrying her will get me some big promotions at work. There was no reason for me to stick with you when I have a prize like her. You're dumping me for her, just because she can help you get ahead at work? That's your only reason for leaving me after all these years? You're too old to be working those dead-end jobs you've been doing. I've been sick of you for a long time. Ever since we worked together, you were such a moron. If it wasn't for me helping you out, you would be nothing but trash. And even before I switched to Clara, the only way you made any money was by coming to my place and doing chores for me. You were more like a maid than a fiancé. A maid? Is that how you saw me all this time? You never loved me for who I am. You just used me to do your dirty work? Men love women who are able to get cleaning and cooking done. You would even come over to help me do some of the nastiest jobs, all for a little bit of cash from me in return. But even though you did a good job for me, I've stumbled into an even more amazing and useful woman. Not only is she madly in love with me, but her dad would be my best shot at a promotion. She's perfect. No, she is not. Ah, that's right. I've made sure to send you an invitation to our wedding. Just in case you want to come. Make sure to take a good look at it and RSVP soon. What? Why would you send something like that to me? Don't make up anything in your head about this. I'm not sending the invitation to you because I want you there. I want you to stop stalking me now. So hopefully, seeing me happy with Clara will make you stop trying. Huh? I feel that by seeing the truth, that should be enough to teach even an idiot like you that I don't love you anymore. Seeing the evidence of me kissing her after putting on her wedding ring should stop any more thoughts about me from entering your head. Man, you should be so thankful that I'm putting this much thought into you still after having thrown you away. I'm a really nice guy, aren't I? Well, look who decided to crash our wedding. Camila, what are you doing here? And what's with the wedding dress? Are you out of your mind? Don't you know that the only one who gets to wear a wedding dress today is me, the bride? Actually, you're not the only bride today. Because I'm also getting married today. What? Have you gone crazy after losing Lucas to me? 
He's mine now, and nothing you do will change that. Especially not showing up in that ridiculous dress that doesn't even suit you. I'm not here to win Lucas back. I've moved on from him. Then why are you here in a wedding dress? You were dumped by Lucas months ago. And that makes you a loser. A loser? Is that what you think of me? Of course. You lost your fiancé and your best friend. You have no one left in your life. Why would you come back here? You can't get him back, because he chose me over you. I'm here in a wedding dress because today is my wedding day. What on earth are you talking about? But my wedding is later than yours. I'm already in my wedding dress because I just came back from a photo shoot. I was looking for the restroom, but I got lost and ended up here. I was about to leave, but then I saw that this was your wedding. You're having your wedding here too? What are you talking about? You have no one to marry, right? You lost Lucas to me a few months ago. So what? Are you having a wedding by yourself and taking pictures of yourself outside? I know that Lucas is yours now, but that doesn't mean that I couldn't find someone new to be my husband. And that new man is waiting for me to walk down the aisle with him. What? You found a new man? That's right. I'm marrying my boss. Hold on, you're marrying your boss. You mean that old man who was our manager when we worked part-time together? I get that you were desperate after being rejected by Lucas, but that's just pathetic, Camila. What? Come on! That old man is almost 80 years old and you're going to marry him? And he hated you so much back then. After I sabotaged you, he fired you. He really wants to marry you now? You must be really desperate. And he must be really senile. He's wasting the last years of his life on someone like you. You're still young, Camila. You should rethink this and call it off before you make a huge mistake. I'm not marrying that old manager. I'm marrying the CEO of the company I work for now. The CEO of the company you work for now? And let me just tell you this so you can stop being so clueless. I'm not a part-timer anymore. After I graduated from college, I got a better job. And now... I'm a successful professional. The company and my husband trust me with important projects. Huh? So you're not working a part-time job right now? You're actually a full-time employee now, and are working for a decent company. And what's even funnier is that I often go to the company Lucas is working for to help out. But anytime I told him that, he just said for me to keep my dreams to myself. He for some reason believes that I'm freelancing and doing odd jobs? Well that's... How are you helping with the company he works for as well? And how have you managed to become close to your CEO? There's just no way you could be able to do all of that. You can believe whatever you want to, but this is all true. Now, that was enough talking for now. How about we both just wish for both of our weddings to go well today? Come on, Camila. You can't be serious. You're not really marrying the CEO of the company, are you? You know he's one of my biggest clients, right? How can he possibly marry you? If you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. My wedding is open to everyone. My husband has invited a lot of people, so there's plenty of room. You can sneak in later and witness who I'm marrying. What? I was upset at first when I found out we were having our wedding at the same place. But this was the only venue that could accommodate us. We needed a lot of space. Like this building. Wait, Camila, please. Tell me this is a joke. How can you marry one of my most important customers? And how can you move on so fast? We broke up only three months ago. How did you find a new man to marry so quickly? This can't be true. It was fast, I admit. But he told me he wanted to marry me as soon as possible. He said he's been in love with me for a long time, and I knew I was the one for him. He didn't want to waste any more time. What? 
You're saying your CEO has been in love with you for a long time? He's known me for a long time. He used to disguise himself and visit the place where we worked part-time. He would check on me and see how I was doing. That's how he knew me from back then. And he knew about my work. What? I don't mean to brag, but he said he fell in love with me the first time he saw me. And since then, he followed my career until I joined this company. And when he finally met me in person, I was with you. So, he had to back off. But when he heard that you cheated on me and we split up, he was waiting for me outside the office and asked me out. You're lying, right? The CEO of that company? He's been in love with you all this time? And with a part-timer that he shouldn't even care about? How did this happen to you? It's crazy, I know. But he's been in love with me since I was a part-timer. And now I understand what that kind of love feels like. Just like Clara loves you. She's been in love with you since middle school, right? She's much more useful than me. That's why you chose her over me. Uh, well, that's not... Well, now that we're both with people who have loved us for so long, even before we met them, let's be grateful and happy. They waited for us for so long. Let's give them the love they deserve. I have to go back to my photo shoot now. Have a wonderful wedding. You ruined everything, Camila. This is not the marriage I wanted. Why is this happening to me? It's all your fault that my life is a mess. What are you talking about? You got to marry Lucas. The man you've been obsessed with for years. Shouldn't you be happy? Happy? How can I be happy? He can't stand me. He sighs every time he sees me. And he tells me every night that he wishes he was with you. That his life would be better if he married you. Are you kidding me? He raves about how amazing you are. How a CEO fell in love with you. How you must have something special that I don't. And he says that being the boss's daughter doesn't mean anything to him. Wow, he's really cruel to you. <laughs> I've been doing everything for him. Cooking, cleaning, ironing. But he always compares me to you. He says you did everything better. He says you made him happier. He says he even paid you to do those things. He only talks about you. He never compliments me. Well, it sounds like he still loves you. You may have loved him longer, but that doesn't mean he loves you more. I've had enough. That's why I ran away to my parents' house today. He dumped you for me, but now he's saying I'm not good enough for him. This is all your fault for setting the bar too high. I told my parents everything, but they didn't comfort me. They got angry at me. They said I deserve this. Well, your parents are very wise. How are they wise? My dad won't even talk to me. He's so disappointed in me. He keeps asking me what I've done for Lucas that you haven't. He says being his daughter doesn't make me superior. Well, he's right. Because, unlike you, I'm on the same level as your dad. I'm a manager, while you're just a housewife. I hate this. I was supposed to have a better life than you. But now you're married to a CEO. And it's killing me. The Lucas I married is not the Lucas I loved. If I knew he would still want you, I would have never married him. Yeah, that makes sense. You would be better off if you didn't marry him. So, what does this have to do with me? Don't tell me you came here looking for sympathy. Because, as far as I know, you're the one who stole him from me. Um... I know Lucas is a jerk, and I know you're miserable. But don't blame me for your own mistakes. And honestly, I don't care how you feel. How can you be so cold to me, Camila? Weren't we friends? We were so close, and now you're hurting me like this. Friends? 
Don't make me laugh. <laughs> you told me yourself that you pretended to be my friend just to steal Lucas from me. You mean nothing to me, Clara. And after this, don't ever talk to me again. What? This is all your fault. You made this happen to me. And you won't even listen to me or help me fix this. Listen, you bitch. Your dad told you who I am now, right? And you're still here, whining like a baby? Well, let me tell you something. I could go to my husband right now and tell him you're harassing me. And you know what? He'll make sure that your dad and Lucas lose their jobs today. My husband won't be gentle with them. He'll teach them a lesson for letting their wife and daughter blame me for something I didn't do. Please stop. If you do that, my dad will be furious. No, he won't just be angry, he'll disown me. And then Lucas will hate me more, and it will be over. Then stop this nonsense and leave me alone, okay? You need to face the reality that you're his wife now. And you have to deal with the consequences of your choices. Or maybe you should just divorce him and find another man? If you're going to complain so much, you must have some energy to do something else that annoys me. A divorce? I can't. We finally got married. Then learn to cope with his dissatisfaction. Or work harder to please him. You chose this path, so stop this bullshit. Ever since I sent that last message to Clara, I never received any reply from her. She cut off all contact with me, and I only heard rumors about how her marriage with Lucas was falling apart. They became so distant and cold to each other that they never exchanged a word or a glance. They lived like strangers under the same roof. But one day, Clara couldn't take it anymore. She exploded at Lucas and demanded that he divorce her if he was so unhappy with her. She accused him of being a different person from the one she fell in love with. She said that he used to be cool and fun to talk to, but now he was boring and rude. That was the start of a long and bitter battle between them. For the next three months, they fought over everything, from money to chores to their families. They made each other's lives miserable. These days, whenever Lucas comes back from work, he finds Clara dressed in childish clothes and acting like a teenager. She pretends that they are still in middle school when they first met and fell in love. She tries to relive the past, but Lucas is disgusted by her behavior. Well, all I can say is that they have both lost their minds, and I have no idea what will happen to their relationship next. <laughs>